Merry Christmas, everyone. Hello, everyone. We hope you are all ready for a great day of fun. There are a lot of fun things happening today. Let's go check on Torrance and see what's up. What are you writing, Torrance? I'm finishing my letter to Santa for when he has his cookies and milk and the reindeer have their carrots. Sounds like fun, Torrance. What was the noise that was coming from downstairs, Matthew? That was Igor and Dr. Frankenstein. They were making something down below. Do you know what it is, Matthew? I heard they were making snow. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our lab again. And we have a fun experiment for you to try out this winter time. That's right. And this time, I'm going to read the recipe. So, we need some glogging eggnog liquid. He means a form of white conditioner. One quarter cup full to place in the bowl. Mm, smells nice. Now we need some special gingerbread gumdrop buttons. We need baking soda. We need one and a half cups to complete this experiment. Yeah. All right, and now we mix it up in our bowl. Keep mixing till it is all ready, and then test it out. Complete. Look at this, Igor, a snowball. Wow, Doctor, that looks great. I can't wait to make some more. Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to ask your parents to make some snow. We'll see you in just a little bit. That's right. Goodbye, everyone. Hey, Doctor, how do we know it works well? <laughs> Snowball fight. These eight arms are going to come in handy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. What are we making today, Kayla? We're going to make gingerbread houses today, Torrance. Oh, how yummy. Oh, actually, we have to focus on making them and showing them off instead of eating them. But we can eat anything left over. Oh, this sounds like fun. It is super fun. Are you ready, Torrance? Ready. Okay, so in order to make this gingerbread house today, We'll be using Pop-Tarts instead of gingerbread, but of course you can use whatever you want. And for the roof, we're using crackers. And then assortment of candies. We've got peppermints, we got marshmallows, these little things, Pop Rocks, Swedish Fish, any candy that comes to mind, you can use it for your gingerbread house. Nothing is wrong. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these Pop-Tarts so they can make the front and back of the house. So we'll be using a hot glue gun for this. Usually you use icing, but this is just so that we can make sure it sticks. If you're using a hot glue gun, please let your parent do it. Do not do it. You can hurt yourself very bad. So now we are going to figure out a way to make the roof with crackers. This house is looking so yummy. This is so much fun. Yay, Kayla! I can't wait to see what it looks like afterwards.
This is so much fun, Kayla. I'm having so much fun. Ooh, look at these tasty houses you all made. Hello, Ophelia. They do look tasty. You all did a great job, if I do say so myself. What's Matthew up to, Ophelia? He's getting things ready in the living room. Can we go and also show him the houses, Ophelia? Of course, Torrens. Look at this awesome house, Matthew. Wow, Torrens, that looks amazing. Great job. What are you doing, Matthew? Well, Torrance, I'm waiting for everyone before doing our reading of the day. <gasps> Yay! This is going to be so much fun! I think we're all here, Matthew. Perfect. Let's begin. Go ahead, Matthew. Merry Christmas! Thank you, Ophelia. Tonight's reading is A Whisper in the Snow. It was written by Kate Westerlund and illustrated by Forendon Oral. I'm not making it up, said Kip. This is where I heard the whisper come out of the snow. What did it say? Asked Agnes. It said it was lost. Shh, I think I hear it again. I don't hear anything. Said Wally. Let's, Let's dig. dig. Said Bella and Bob together. The mice often said the same thing at the same time. They were twins. That's the strangest looking bear I've ever seen. Said Wally. It's a teddy. Said Kip. Just, Just look, look at him. him. Said Bella and Bob. He's, He's all freezy frozen. frozen. Where do you belong, little bear? Asked Agnes. He can't talk, said Wally. His mouth is only stitched on. How can you hear him whisper, Kip? Well, I hear it when my teddy whispers. We can't just leave him here, said Agnes. Where can we take him? Asked Wally. I have an idea, said Agnes. They loaded the teddy bear in the wagon. Wally and Agnes pulled and Kip pushed. Bella and Bob held the teddy's paw so he wouldn't be frightened. Where are we going? Asked Wally. We're going to Arthur's, said Agnes. Arthur's? But he's so grumpy when you wake him in winter, said Wally. That's why I'm going to get some honey. Arthur loves honey, said Agnes. Agnes walked directly to the front door with a basket and knocked. Who's there? roared a voice. Arthur, it's Agnes. We brought you some Christmas honey. The door opened slowly, squeaking on its hinges. And we have a we-don't-know-what-to-do question, said Kip. Then you better come in, said Arthur, taking the jar of honey and marching back into his house. What is that poor thing? asked Arthur. That's our question. We found it. I mean him. Buried in the snow. Kip heard a whisper or something. Not something. I heard a whisper and it said it was lost. But now he won't talk. What should we do? Oh my. Said the big bear, taking a closer look. And on the day before Christmas, a child is without his or her beloved bear. How do you know he was loved? Just look at him said Arthur with a sigh. He's been dragged everywhere. One button eye is missing, and he's been squeezed in love so hard that his fur is rubbed off in places, and some of his stuffing has come out. Maybe, Maybe a dog, dog got, got after, after it. it, said Bella and Bob. Or, or a cat. cat. No, I think this bear has just been a companion for a long time. Maybe this child will get a new bear for Christmas? It's possible, but it won't be the same. He looks terrible, and now he's thawing out. He's all soggy. Put him in the rocking chair by the fire, so he can dry out, said Arthur. Couldn't we do something, at least to make him look better for Christmas? That's a wonderful idea. Let's see what else you can find at home to help this poor bear. But hurry back, there's a lot to do. And Agnes, is there a bit more of that delicious Christmas honey? My old vest looks great, and I brought a ribbon we can use as a tie. Mom gave me these little squares to use for patches so he doesn't lose any more stuffing. We have a button for his missing eye. We can sew it on if someone will help us. And what did you find, Kip? A jingle bell. But that's your favorite bell. I think he needs it more than I do. What's the safety pin for? I was going to pin the bell to the vest, in case he gets lost again. Marvelous. I'll ask the crow to gather all his bird friends and fly along the edge of the woods, where the people live. Maybe they can find an unhappy child who might be missing a teddy bear. Look, I think the bear is smiling. He looks great. Not exactly new, but... Better than new. Hey, what's that noise? The birds? Are they back already? Arthur wondered. I hope they have good news. I did, I think, said the crow. Did anyone find the child who might be missing this bear? I did, I think, said the crow. In a house on the other side of the river. And a little girl who just sits at the window and cries. How do we get the bear to the girl? Asked Kip. It's Christmas Eve. 
We could put him down the chimney. Then he would be just as messy as when we found him, said Agnes. The owl can fly to the bear to the front door, said the crow. And you can all watch from a distance. This, this is, is so, so exciting. exciting, said Bill and Bob. Look, it really is her bear. They look so happy. I feel all Christmassy. Shh, I think I hear something. A whisper. Is, is it, it the, the bear? bear? Asked the twins. What's, What's he, he saying? saying? He says thank you all and Merry Christmas. Here you all go. Now who wants presents? Aren't we supposed to wait for Christmas? Why, of course. Everyone can have at least one Christmas gift early, Goldie. Hey, Dr. Frankenstein. Hey, you Igor. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Great. Thanks, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. What did you get, Torrance? I'm a ninja turtle. Thank you, Matthew. You're quite welcome, Goldie. I got a new skull. Oh, thank you. We got you something too, Matthew. Go ahead, Ophelia. You first. Oh, what a nice outfit. I can look just like Santa. Here, I'll put it on you, Ophelia. Thank you, Matthew. I have a hard time getting my feathers through it. Quite festive, Ophelia. Oh, thank you. Why is the stand with all our names on it? That is very nice. Thank you, guys. Of course. Thank you as well for being so nice this year and teaching others many lessons. Of course. Always will, Edgar. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas!